Hello everyone. Today's video is uh, on a Mike's Train House uh, GP40. It's the B&O uh, GM50 anniversary engine for the Chessie system. It was painted in gold and um, it was uh, Mike's Train House. The, it was a Proto 2 sound. The number on it was a 20 2782 dash 1e. A lot of detail on this one even though it's a bit older but uh, there was a lot of detail on the trucks and lots of grab irons and opening doors and everything looks great. Uh, unfortunately it is three rail it has the separate trucks but that's fine. A lot of detail on this thing. Let me see if I can zoom in. Start up here at the front, <clears throat> and uh, has a nice plow, and the uh, detail that goes on the front with the hoses and stuff, uh, some grab irons, and the door that opens on this side at the front and on the back side on the opposite side. Uh, lots of little placards and. Uh, information cards on this one too, some uh, air hoses between the brake cylinders, uh, some detail there for the ports and filler caps and stuff. Nice overall paint job. has even the air hoses to the air cylinder, reserve cylinder on the top of the tank. Bell. And on back. Nice uh, open grills on the body. You can actually see through uh, very easily on this one. Save for the dynamic brake on top which I don't have pushed well, yet. No I don't. I don't have it pushed all the way down. I see. There we go. Looks much better. Quick fix. It's got little lift uh, eyes at the top on the uh, units to be lifted off by crane. A lot of nice door detail on the side of the body. Uh, stamping for the chassis system. Very nice. More nice grills here toward the back of the cab. Standard crew figures, open windows, flashing lights, good sound, nice puller. Uh, you could take you could take this and maybe another uh, GP40 or GP38, and I don't think you'd have any problems pulling. Uh, decent sized train. I can't pull any more than about 10 cars because of my limited small layout but uh, has no problems with that just by itself. Let's see if I can I don't know if they'll let me No. There's just some limitations with this camera. It's got a... It's too close to... There we go. But anyway, just wanted to drag this one out and show it to you. Uh, I like this engine a lot. Uh, I like the GPs, uh, especially the GP38-2s the 40s, the 50s, and the uh, low-nose GP60s, which is one I don't have, but I'd like to get one eventually. So let me center this back up for you. Well, that allows me to get there. I was trying to show you the GP40- GP40-2 
GP40-1 it looks like to me as far as I can read under the B&O there on the side of the cab. But anyway, let me zoom this back out. Looks like it's in focus. Well, anyway, you all have a, a uh, hope you all had a good time watching the video uh, as much as I did making it. If you could hit the like and subscribe button, it sure helped me out and let uh, YouTube know people are watching these. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. You all have a good evening. Be safe. Talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.